Suppose that we have a REST API slash customers exposed to the internet and various clients are trying to access it. So the resources at this API level are utilized fairly if the request coming from all the clients is coming in a fair manner, which each client is sending a fair amount of request. But what happens if one of the client bombards the API with lot of requests? It will lead to over utilization of resources at the API level and maybe it won't be able to serve requests for the other clients. In order to mitigate this, we use rate limiting at a client level using an API gateway and Redis. So basically we use an API gateway to filter requests using the request rate limiter filter, which basically decides to allow or disallow a request. And we use Redis for counting requests based on the token bucket algorithm. So basically in a token bucket algorithm, tokens are added for every request for that particular client in that bucket of that client. And then we can keep a check on how many tokens are allowed in a bucket for a particular client. So for using API Gateway, we use the Spring Cloud starter dependency provided by the Spring Cloud. And for using Redis, we use the Spring Boot Data Redis dependency provided by Spring Boot. So we have already learned how to configure routes for a Spring Cloud Starter Gateway. If not, please click on the link on the top of the screen and check out the video for that. Now we will see how to implement rate limiting. So the request rate limiter filter helps us decide whether to allow a request to proceed or to block it because its limit has exceeded. And we can configure the rate at which a client can call a particular service by setting the Redis rate limiter dot replenish rate property. So for example, it is set as 500 here. So it can make 500 requests per second. We can also set up an additional property which is called burst capacity, which means if some extra requests or additional requests above the capacity come up, in that case, we can allow request up to this value by using the quota of the next bucket, which even if, even if it gets filled, will then stop blocking the request. For example, the burst capacity is five, uh, 1000. And if after 500 requests, we can go up to 1000. But if uh, within two seconds, uh, within two seconds, any more requests comes, then it will be blocked after 1000 because we have exceeded the burst capacity. So basically Redis is creating buckets of 500 token per second and it may allow request up to 1000 token per second using the next available bucket. But after which the request will block for some time until the next available bucket for the next second is available. For a more detailed video around the theory of API gateway as to understand why it is required and what are its advantages and disadvantages, click on the video on the left. And to understand how do we configure routing where we route requests from the API gateway to the particular service, click on the video on the right.